So we are traveling back to um, Georgia. We're back in Georgia now. Coming back in from Alabama. We went to Birmingham for the weekend. Harlan's cousin Tony threw a surprise birthday party for her husband Tim. And also combined with a baby shower for their granddaughter um, who's about to be born in a couple of weeks. And I, want, I just need to record a couple of things because this was a very interesting, interesting weekend. And so I just wanted to have some of it on file. So um, one thing here, the music in the background, what y'all know about that? Okay, so anyway, so one of the things that I wanted to say is that, um, you know, as couples do at the end of the night, everybody talks and you talk about, you talk about um, what's happened and different people and what you see and what you think, what you da da da, whatever. And so when Harlan and I were talking about um, his cousin Trisha, no, Patrice, and her husband Leo, um, you know, I told him, I said, the only, I, I told him, I said, I keep seeing suffering with him just suffering and um, I didn't really put my finger on it but I knew I knew I felt suffering I felt that they had already um, experienced some they were going to experience more and um, you know we talked about a couple of other people and you know what we saw as people who love the Lord and who have giftings in God or whatever and um, you know just kind of gave what we thought about certain things so that was that um, um, also wanted to talk about um, so anyway we were taking pictures getting ready to leave this morning from the hotel and everybody's taking pictures and posing and whatever and um, he started I walked outside to talk to someone about the conference that's coming up in April and he started to have a seizure and as he began to have the seizure um, I came in towards the end of it but he was still seizing and so the uh, EMT was called and it was three nurses that was there at the time and so they administered help and everything and um, our sister-in-law Holly she's a registered nurse and so she was really helpful um, and so we ended up uh, calling the EMT and he started to come out of it and his, he started uh, saying that they took him to the doctor they was going to take him to the hospital just to have observations because he had a flight to catch so they were going to delay the flight but when he got in the ambulance, he started complaining that he was having chest pains. And so, um, took him to the hospital, did an EKG, and found out that he actually had had a heart attack as well as the seizure. And um, that, I think that was the suffering that I was sensing on them. And that 90% um, of his main artery was blocked up. And so, they have to do bypass surgery in the morning. And of course, we're believing God to do great things in their lives, you know, and to begin to heal his body. And we were talking about lifestyle changes and body changes, even sitting at the breakfast table this morning. So that's always interesting um, to see that and then to sense certain things and to see that thing come to pass before the weekend is even over, you know. And so, of course, it made me think about my dad, you know, it made me very sad. And even now, my heart really hurts and um, just thinking about that. But... Um, the next thing was that is that um, Adela's her, um, mucus blood came out, so we're like trying to hurry to get home. So